welcome back. Uh, today we're going to uh, start things off by heading up and talking to uh, Daniela. Uh, if you remember last time at the uh, waterfall, we got our picture for her. Uh, if we're doing that, we get the uh, completion of important resting place. Oh, this is the waterfall at Tristus Pass. I mastered the secret arts there. Secret arts? Well, that doesn't matter. I have to repay you for this splendid drawing. Oh yes, how about this? I don't know what it's for, but it's very nice. You'll come again, right? You don't have to say it. I have a feeling you will. Okay, and for doing that, we get the, uh, oops. We get the, uh, treasure hat. Um, increases the, uh, probability that enemies will drop items for you. So, uh, we're just for the purpose of picking up some items along the way. I'm going to be leaving that on for the entirety of the game, at least uh, until we get to a few certain bosses. I'll take it off for them, but other than that, when I'm just running around, I will be wearing the treasure hat. Might save us a little bit of grief looking for an item later. I was just gazing at the drawings you did for me. Look, they're very fine. I don't understand. I... I lost my emotions. Did you really? I never noticed. But yes, if you live for a long time, you tend to lose all sorts of things. I lost my hat last week. What was it before that? I've lost a lot of things. But the saddest was when I lost grandfather. I cried till my tears ran out. Say, won't you draw the church where I lost grandfather? It's on Oblivion Ridge, and that's a tiny cro and there's a tiny cross there. It's sad, but I want to make sure I remember it. If you draw it, I'll be able to remember both you and Grandfather. The church is in Oblivion Ridge. Okay, so, uh, just so happens the next place we're going is, uh, Oblivion Ridge. So, uh, we can go ahead and take care of that while we're there, too. Um, I don't think that we have any other quests we can turn in. Yeah, these are all red, so... We're just going to, uh head out to Oblivion Ridge. Uh, before we do that, let's actually uh, check the shop, maybe grab a few healing items. Not that we'll need them at Oblivion Ridge, but uh, it might save us a trip later. Uh, take some use items. Uh, grab some potions, uh, some magical tickets, and well, maybe not meat. Let's see. Let's grab Minestrone. It seems to give us uh, some pretty good healing for uh, what it costs. Come back again, again um, I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, it's probably not a good idea, especially to sell your equipment. Uh, so let's go to our new place, Oblivion Ridge. Still on Albus's heels. Uh, okay, yeah, that is my right here. Okay, this guy has to be enough. Switch back to, uh, not that one. Luminata. I keep wanting to call it Radiance. The, uh, voice acting in this game for what there is for a DS game is phenomenal. Uh, we get a new enemy here. Uh, nothing special. He will do a few attacks like that one. Get a few hits in on him, he's not that bad. The real problem with this place is having to dodge these birds. They also bring in, uh, flea men, Which hop around and it can get very, uh, convoluted. Okay, uh, there's a glyph up there. We can't quite reach it with double jump, but... If we use one of these guys, we can make it over there. We just gotta wait for the right one. Looks good. Now, I don't know if that's the intended way to get this, but that's the way that I get this. Uh, we get Sapien Sphio. It temporarily increases int and the effects of magical glyphs. So, Radiance, um, and a few others. Go in here and save our game. We have a boss battle coming up. And let's see, what glyph do I want to use for that? Uh, let me take a look through here. Do I want to use Luminato? 
I feel like I should have gotten a fire glyph by now and I've forgotten it somewhere. Um, yeah, I usually do this with the fire glyph and I've forgotten to go back and grab it. It's, um, it's one of those glyphs that we have to backtrack to get. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out Agnes, though, for Soppy and Spio for this fight. A little bit of extra intelligence never hurt anybody. Uh, don't hit me before I get in here. Uh, and this boss is uh, fairly difficult to get the metal on. Um, I don't know, I've had trouble with him before. More so than even the crab boss, but uh, I think I should be able to beat him for you just fine here. He'll, uh, he's an underground fish. Yeah, watch out for him to do that. You don't want to stand on the pillar. Ooh, we got poison. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, I thought he was doing a different move, so that is my fault. Don't stand underneath. Occasionally he'll come to the side there. You just gotta watch for the, uh... Yeah, this is the move I thought he was doing. Oop. Got a little too close. And that's why this boss is so hard to, uh... Don't touch those. To get the metal on, because just so many little things will hit you. And, uh... Kind of like the crab boss, I guess. Um, he has a lot of little mechanics that you might mess up. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, not my uh, best performance here. Uh, where are you at? Just wait here. Maybe refill our health a little bit. Yeah, this is why I stocked up on potions before coming. <laughs> Don't be afraid to stock up on them and use them. Also, don't be afraid of your uh, glyph unions either. He's going to uh, chase us to the end here. And jump. Oop. Ah, we got hit by the little ball things. Uh, you should attack them and destroy them. I didn't, and uh, that's what happens when you don't. So uh, do not follow my example there. And again. <laughs> uh, just try to get in damage on them whenever you can. Uh, just avoid them the best you can. Doing that fan, you can use your double jump to kind of get some height on it. Get out of it. Man, I really need to get some more MB upgrades. Yeah, I was trying to get some of that uh, debris before it got me, but it didn't do too well. Oops. the big green toxin, so get behind your uh, pillar here. Oop, get behind the pillar. We do not want poisoned. Just, uh, yeah, just keep following this pattern, and you should be good. Oop. Not like that, though. Go ahead and grab a little bit more health. Radiance. Radiance. Oh, I started without the pillar now. Oh, there's one over here. Damn, we still got hit. Ooh, this guy takes forever. I, this is why I really just don't like this boss. He's gonna take the hit there and get on his other side. Illuminato's only downside is, uh... It takes forever to recharge another one. 
So you gotta be real careful about uh, where you put it. Alright, and we're done with that boss. Uh, once you see the screen flash, don't worry. Uh, you won't get hit again here. <laughs> Skeleton. Eyes. Get a special pose. And uh, we're gonna head back and save the game because we don't want to have to do that again. That would be not good. Also switch back to uh, Magnus. Uh, you can see I switched back to Magnus, but my int buff stayed. Uh, that's something you can do if you care to. It lasts, I don't know, until you save the game. Or it might be a graphical glitch. I never really bothered to test it or try to play with it, because it's not that big of a deal. But, uh, if you're going into a boss fight, you don't have use for Magnus or anything else. Uh, it's not like you have anything better to do, so. Well, what did I do with... Man, I'm forgetting all my glyph slots. Those out. Ooh, and we he uh, dropped a shield glyph for us. Vol Scutum, a more powerful shield glyph. Okay, uh, we won't be using that. Uh, come over here, break this wall. You can get a diamond. Secret enemy. Uh, there's also a Chamomile up there. A friend of mine. If you do some fancy jumping like so, you can get up here to grab it. Um, not really sure why they did that, because you can get them in chests. So, I was never going to come back here and backtrack for it. I, maybe they did want you to do the jump kick up there, but it uh, doesn't seem like they would. Who knows? I'm just going to skip these guys. And that's why the uh, double jump is so good. I sent strong magic behind that door. It's Dominus. Oh no. Try to relax, Shinoa. No more interfering. About those Dominus pieces. By the way, it's time to explain why I gave them to you. Yeah! It's working! I feel it! But Barlow said you weren't able to bear glyphs. Did you... You let me absorb the other two just to see how it's done. Ha! You see, I... What's happening? And now, my wish will be... Shinoa, I... What? Th this can't be! No! I've come too far. I will not be consumed. We'll settle this later, Shinoa. Wait, Albus! This is bad. Master Barlow will know what to do. Okay, uh, after that, we're gonna come over here, open your inventory, and uh, we're gonna get that sketch that uh, Grandma asked us to get. And uh, somewhere around here, there we go. We can break that, and we get the Hermit Ring. What does that do again? Hermit ring. Uh, it's a defensive item and it increases our intelligence a little bit, but it uh, decreases attack too much, so... I will go ahead and stick with what I've got on for now. And, uh, after that, we are also free to use the uh, magical ticket to go back to the village. Restock our hearts. And then uh, go ahead and save your game. Again, ABS, always be saving. We'll head back in here and talk to our uh, friend, Daniela. Oh, you drew it for me. Drawings are so great. The same scenery is completely different between artists. And these days, they have these photographs a reporter showed me. But I like these drawings a hundred times better because you drew them. This is my thanks for the drawing. Please keep it. I hope it's enough for all you've given me. We've lost lots of things, but sometimes we gain things too, you know? Like you, for example, like myself, we've each gained a friend. Now, those are priceless, so let's not lose them. Do come again, Shinoa. 
you're always welcome here. And we get the uh, dowsing hat. Can't remember what it does though. Let's see. Uh, hat sounds a tone of treasure is nearby. I think that's for the uh, secret tra chest where you duck down. Uh, but you don't need that because I'll show you where they are. I know that I've missed at least one so far, uh, but again, don't worry, I will show you where to get them all. We're going to, uh, again, save our game, because why not? Head out here, and we're going to go and speak to uh, Master Barlow about uh, Albus, see if we can save him from Dominus. Man, this music. You say he hosts the final piece himself? To learn such devilry in such short time, I fear his genius may outstrip my own. We foolishly assumed that only you could serve as host for Dominus. And so, we left him such an opening, he watched the way you took in those first two. But wait, those pieces still remain with us. That is correct. He wants them back, no doubt. If we pursue, what choice do we have? He has to be stopped. You said so yourself. Indeed, you have the right of it, I fear. The force of Dominus devours the mind. Poor Albus. Even he could not resist Dracula's will. He can't come back to us. Not anymore. Shinoa, free him from his misery. Yes, sir. His trail must lead beyond the graveyard. Go, for the, all the world's sake. Come back alive. that, we uh, leave Barlow here, and we're going to uh, head back out to the world map, because I have a feeling we'll have a new location. And we do, we have two of them, but we can't go to the top one yet. Here we get uh, the Argila Swamp. A fairly short area, kind of like the uh, Misty Forest Road. Um, very straightforward. Remember this enemy, Jersey Devil? Uh, we'll need to come back here for another quest, kind of like the Photograph quest uh, later in the game. So uh, just remember his location. Let's see, switch to not. I that might do a little better for these guys. And I think next episode we're gonna go ahead and backtrack because I really need that fire glyph. Uh, it's a glyph I'll be using until I get one final glyph. And there we see the uh, Mandragoras. That's where you get the Mandragora fruit for the next uh, potion quest. And uh, I will farm that because the extra potions will do us very good. Um, but I will uh, I'll do a time lapse. And if you'll notice, I'm kind of skipping over this a little bit. Um, I'm going to come back here and farm Mandragoras, so... Uh, let's just say it offsets that. Uh, these guys, if you kill uh, either one, I f it's a really cool effect that uh, I'm not going to show you because we're under siege. <laughs> I will show you later. Um, but they will actually mourn each other's death. And it's just, uh, oh. Yeah, we're not... See, this is what I'm talking about with the difficulty. Um, you can get overwhelmed very quickly. I tried to run through and ended up getting caught in a bad situation. So, uh... There we go. Jump kick, everybody! Come on, duck back down. I have to kill this one. But we're far enough away from the other stuff that it don't matter. Let me kill his bird. I can show you that, maybe. Yeah, he will, uh... mourn the bird here. And he gets stronger because of that. I kind of feel bad about doing it, but, uh... We make it through, uh, the swamp. Barely holding on to our lives. Uh... That was not good, but this, uh... This house here should be a little better. The swamp's just full of crap that will swarm you very easily. If you're doing it yourself, 
I recommend not trying to save time and actually uh, going through and uh, killing everything methodically. Uh, but I wanted to show you the mystery manor before we uh, leave out. Albus is here. I must end this now with my own hands, no matter the cost. Well said. Uh, I will go to the first save point here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go back out here now that the axe man is uh, away from us and we're gonna absorb this glyph Vol Luminato uh, it basically tracks the enemy but it only shoots out one ball at a time so uh, we're gonna stick with the uh, regular Luminato because it will uh, do more damage if you aim it properly. At least until I get the fire glyph. And uh, I will have that by the end of next episode. Yeah. Uh, what you just saw me open there was a mimic. Uh, you can kill it if you like. Uh, at this point, you should have the tools necessary. You can just use Luminato from up here. Oop. Don't go down that far very easily kill it from up here. Doesn't really drop anything of, uh, that I care about. Come on, sit still. Yeah, it has a lot of health and it does a lot of damage. That's why I didn't want to take it on earlier. But, uh, yeah. There it goes. Not too hard. Easy stuff. Switch back to our rapiers. Go in here, get 2,000 gold, very nice. Another 50, not bad. Just breakable now. I think there's one in here somewhere. One gold, shitty. Here's those heads that we ran away from earlier in the game. Again, you should have the tools necessary to take them out now. Uh, if you see him go for the glyph, go ahead and absorb it. That way they can't possibly hit you with it. Uh, unless you're being attacked by other enemies. And if you heard that in the background, there's another cat here somewhere. Easy stuff. Go, kitty. He's here somewhere. I'm not just hearing things. Oh, there he is. Right up here. He's uh, blending in. We get our next kitty. Kitty, kitty. Uh, you can drop down on the floor here. But uh, I'm going to check out some other rooms first. This is the problem with not having my map screen, is I have to do a lot of this from memory. Ah, these three men are just annoying. Open up the chest, get us a gold ore. Okay, uh, that's very good. Um, I don't think we'll get the rest of the gold ores, unfortunately, until uh, a later point in the game. Which you will see uh, a bit later. Go in here, we can get 2,000 gold. Very nice. Oh, shit. Uh, well, that was the uh, Mystery Manor. Um, when we next come back, I will uh, meet you back where we were. I will go ahead and uh, take care of what we already had done, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Hey guys, Ryan from 3R Gaming here. If you liked our videos, maybe consider giving us a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, or leave a comment and let us know what kind of games you'd like to see in the future. Have a great day.